We're joined today by Kydman Marriott, Managing Director at Western Mines Group. Kydman, thanks for your time. David, very good to meet you. Listed in 2021 with an asset just east of Kalgoorlie, what was the proposition you took to market? Yeah, so we acquired the Mulga Tank project um, in late 2020, ahead of our IPO and listed in July 2021. We saw the project as a very highly prospective um, nickel copper PGE project. Um, it's a very large dunite intrusion, um, similar sort of scale to something like the Cambalda Dome area of Western Australia, but very limited exploration. There's only, um, only 11 holes, deep holes in it that have penetrated through the sand cover. And it's kind of the sand that is, presents the opportunity, very underexplored. And it's those frontier areas that you need to go to look for large kind of potential tier one assets. And so, um, yeah, we listed in July 21 and then we've been exploring pretty heavily on it since, since then. So the work done to date, obviously only circa two years really, but what's the work that's been done to date? Yeah, so off the bat off the IPO, we embarked um, very heavily on some geophysical surveys, both the high resolution gravity and uh, moving loop EM. Uh, there had been some historic work on that. We inherited a data set of some maybe six or eight hundred thousand dollars worth of data. So this enabled us to fairly cheaply infill it and get um, you know, a very comprehensive data set. From that, we planned our first drill program um, between April and July last year, which was uh, about 4,000 meters of diamond drilling across 10 holes. Uh, we deliberately selected a range of targets um, of relatively shallower holes to try and find out as much as we could about the intrusion and potentially different styles of target. And that was pretty successful. Six out of the 10 holes um, saw visible nickel mineralization. And then just recently in November, we come back to embark on our phase two follow-up program. And you recently announced cracking assay results that excited the market. Why are they so important and what does it tell you about this project? Yeah, so we've, uh, we've started drilling another six holes, of which we've now completed three of them. And so, yeah, the first two of the program, we've got the assay results back from those, holes 22 and 23, um, and 23 we put out yesterday. Now, both of these, we've stepped more into the center of the intrusion, drilling deeper holes, and we saw very large intersections of disseminated nickel mineralization. This is very analogous to Mount Keith. Um, our technical director, Ben, is a bit of a world expert on Mount Keith and has written over 50 scientific papers on it. And yeah, he looks at the core and says, this looks like Mount Keith every day of the week. Um, of course, we announced visuals that we drilled a um, very deep um, EIS hole funded by the government to uh, 1,400 meters of depth. We showed visuals of this over 600 meters of disseminated sulfide, but of course, certainly in the current climate, the market takes a very much a wait and see approach. And so, yeah, yesterday we put out those, um, those assay results and confirmed pretty much cumulatively um, 700 meters of disseminated nickel mineralization. And so what we can see is we're very much validating or proving our thesis that we think this is a, this is a huge dunite intrusion and a very big um, nickel mineral system. Um, We've by no means drilled the richest part of the intrusion. We certainly see zones of this disseminated material um, of higher grade, and so it's now a question of sort of vectoring into to where we might see those. Having said that, there's a number of holes where we see a pretty um, uh, cohesive uh, broad zone in, that's very shallow in the top 200 meters that could uh, be very amenable to a, a large open pit scenario um, like that. Where to from here? What's the plan now? Now you've got these results, you've excited the market, you've excited your technical team. What's the plan from here? So we still have three more holes to complete of this program. Um, the guys, of course, are continuously coming up with new targets and, and follow up on that. Yes, and in parallel to this, we've also started doing some initial uh, metallurgical test work. We put out this morning some aqua regia test work results and this this goes to demonstrate that the nickel is certainly in sulfide form versus silicate nickel. So it's very potentially very um, recoverable. And so we will start some metallurgical test work as well. And so there's a scenario here that we will start to bring these uh, two streams into parallel, um, prove up this concept of this broad uh, zone of mineralization in the top couple of hundred meters, demonstrate that it's recoverable nickel, and then we can um, embark on a pretty aggressive resource drill out. Um, the tons here aren't going to be a problem. This is a huge body. Um, we've already demonstrated the mineralization between three holes, 1.6 kilometers apart. Um, 
The Mount Keith ore shell is about 1.9 kilometers by 400 meters. Our body is about five kilometers by four kilometers wide. Like this, this thing can get very big very quickly. Um, and if we, if we focus on that shallow zone um, of recoverable nickel, we think this uh, could be a, a very large scale, um, uh, large scale, low grade uh, ore body. Hit the ground running, have excited the market. All the eyes are on the company now. Exciting times ahead for Western Mines Group and its shareholders. Kydman, thanks for your time. Thanks very much, David.